Hi guys, I just got back from Brooklyn. I went to visit my uncle, my adopted uncle, <laughs> and um, he was in the hospital, he wasn't feeling very well, so my sister-in-law and I went to visit him and see how he was doing. Nope. I, I did this video on Friday when I first watched the movie, and it was really great. I, I I even included the trailer and everything and it was just perfect the way I liked it but the only problem was <coughs> YouTube flagged it for copyrighted content so I had to I couldn't make it public I, I mean I could have still had the video up but I didn't want to run the risk of getting um, any kind of strikes on my account for it so I deleted the video so I'm going to do a different one and <clears throat> I'm sorry, I just came from outside and it's really cold, so <clears throat> so I my voice is a little off. But I'm gonna get into my review of Sherlock Holmes 2, The Game of Shadows. It was a really good movie. Now I watched the first and I really liked um, the chemistry between Jude Law and Robert Downey Jr. And I think that's what made the movie. Uh, the, <clears throat> the premise of the first movie was a little, was not as strong as, in my opinion, as the premise in the second one. And I really loved watching the movie. Every time Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law was on the screen, I just, I, I was in heaven there were a lot of cinematic shots a lot of he uh, Guy Ritchie does a lot of um what we called uh the, the free shots the matrix the matrix shots in his movies where he slows the frames down so you can see what's going on there were a couple of those shots in there they're very well done they're very cinematic and everything and I loved the whole look of the movie the cinematography was great when there was color when it was washed in gray it was beautiful my only pet peeve and my only thing that I really did not like about this movie was the villain I think that Professor Moriarty should have been kept as a hidden villain until maybe toward maybe the last half an hour of the movie the last 45 minutes of the movie because the movie's like about two hours and change and to be honest I didn't it didn't I didn't even feel it I sat there I was so engrossed in the movie that I didn't even notice the time and that's a good mark of a good movie yeah he once his face was revealed he was there was no mystery he was not as menacing to me as he was when all you saw was just a gloved hand coming at you or just like his torso or something like that it was it was like it made it gave your imagination more to work with then you know it's better what you don't see it's more frightening than what you see and when you saw him it made him more human more fragile more fallible and petty you know and 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 I think I've seen villains being played a little better um it just is a certain balance and he just did not the I'm pretty sure the actor you know is very talented he's and he's done a great body of work but I just think that he was totally off for Moriarty my opinion other than that I loved watching Sherlock Holmes to Game of Shadows I did I enjoyed every moment of watching Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law bicker it was like a beautiful dance that I just couldn't stop watching except when Professor Moriarty was on the screen um the the other characters were great Nomi uh rappers I believe that's her last name. The chick of from the girl with the dragon tattoo fame, the original. 
She was awesome in this movie. She didn't really have much to do. She played a gypsy and she played the gypsy very well. She had a few uh, good scenes, but for the most part, she was basically Rachel McAdams replacement as the female in the movie. She was in the movie for a brief minute, but I'm not going to elaborate on on how on what that was about because I'll ruin it for you guys. But yeah, I thoroughly recommend if you want to go see um, Sherlock Holmes, I, I recommend that you go see it. It was really good. And in my opinion, if I had money, I would go watch it again. Yeah, that was my little review of Game of Shadows. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And like I said, I'm going to start doing um, re movie reviews on my channel. And this was my first. Although normally they will be uploaded on Friday. I'm just, I'm sorry for the lateness. It's just that I had to redo it all over again and I just didn't have time. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.